Are gorillas dangerous? They're referred to as gentle giants. These primates are not nearly as fearsome as their look suggests, despite films like King Kong. Gorillas are peaceful creatures who live in groups. They are herbivores. Despite their benign temperament, humans must exercise caution around them because gorillas are far more powerful than humans and might jeopardize a person's life if they feel threatened. Yes, gorillas in the wild can and have harmed humans. This, however, is always defensive. Because gorillas primarily eat animal stuff in the form of insects, if you see one poised to attack, you've most likely disturbed or angered it. If my memory serves me properly, no one has ever been slain by a gorilla. Let's see what we can learn about their behavior and how we can determine if they're harmful or not. While gorilla size varies according to the species, most adults stand between four and six feet tall while standing on their hind legs. The Western gorilla weighs 150 to 400 pounds, whereas the largest gorillas, the Eastern lowland, can weigh up to 550 pounds in the wild. The power of the gorilla is legendary, especially when it comes to the upper body. In reality, a gorilla's strength is nearly six times that of a human. The fact that gorillas still use their upper bodies for moving about and bearing their vast weight accounts for their arm, chest, and back burliness. Gorillas are classified as herbivores because they eat a variety of plants, such as wild celery, bamboo, roots, and fruits. However, bark, tiny branches, and tree pulp are all part of the gorilla's diet. They will ingest soil and ash to promote digestion on occasion. Gorillas also consume tiny animals and insects, although they are not hunters. An adult male gorilla may consume up to 40 pounds of vegetation per day, or around 10% of his body weight. In terms of broccoli, that works out to around 80 heads every day. It would be around 23 heads of iceberg lettuce in terms of lettuce. That's a colossal amount of salad. Infectious infections are also a problem for gorillas. Gorillas are affected by many of the same illnesses that plague people due to comparable genetics. If you have any symptoms of infectious sickness, you should not go gorilla trekking in Rwanda or Uganda. Silverback gorillas, who are elderly male gorillas with gray fur on their backs, control the troops. The normal weight of a silverback gorilla is 300 to 400 pounds, however the largest gorillas can reach 500 pounds or more. These guardians determine when the unit rises, feeds, moves, and sleeps. When they feel a threat, silverbacks become more dominating and aggressive and are known to beat their chests. They are, however, mainly friendly creatures, as are all gorillas. Robust male gorillas may be 10 times stronger than the ordinary person, tearing down banana trees, bending iron bars, and biting with lion-like strength. They are, for the most part, gentle giants that only use their full power when they are threatened. Gorillas may be hazardous at times. They're not used to being near people because they're wild creatures and if left alone, they may attack them or other animals. However, you may have read publications claiming that gorillas aren't hazardous. That is just partially correct. Gorillas will not attack until provoked, although they will defend themselves as they feel endangered or invaded. When people approach, they normally flee. Humans are not eaten by gorillas. Why? These apes are strict herbivores that aren't interested in eating meat. As a result, they do not devour the bodies of humans when they attack or kill them. Stems, fruits, leaves, bamboo shoots, roots, and tree bark make up the majority of the gorilla's diet. Canines and incisors aid in the crushing and ripping of resistant tree bark and fruit shells. When they need to protect themselves, they can use their canines to bite animals or people. Furthermore, when threatened, they flaunt off their canine teeth to frighten predators away. This does not, however, make them any less hazardous. Because an uncurbed assault can be lethal, it is preferable to save an attack victim from a gorilla. Due to a multitude of factors, the population of gorillas in Africa is steadily declining. Some are poached for the illicit wildlife trade or hunted for bushmeat in war-torn countries. Because of logging, mining, and agriculture, gorilla habitat is being lost at an alarming rate, increasing human-gorilla conflict. Have you ever seen a gorilla attack a human? A gorilla has assaulted a human on multiple occasions in real life. 
One is the Rotterdam case, which was previously noted. A more recent sad incident occurred at the Madrid Zoo. The victim was a zookeeper who was also seriously hurt. The gorillas were usually provoked in most assault situations, albeit in the Madrid case, the gorilla was just surprised by the incursion. Another intriguing example was reported in Nigeria's Cross River State, when gorillas were observed utilizing weapons to defend themselves against human intruders. For these creatures, attacking people is a pure defense impulse, not a result of being predatory. There are a few occasions when an assault is lethal. How to save yourself from an attack? Gorillas are often timid and cautious with humans. They will only attack if they are shocked or intimidated or if someone acts inappropriately. The silverback male may retaliate with terrifying roaring and bluff assaults if the human makes a sudden movement. This implies he sprints directly to the victim and stops right in front of him, often at a distance of less than one meter. Nothing to worry about if Gorilla then behaves submissively by stooping down and staring at the ground. However, if the fugitive flees, the enraged Gorilla will pursue him and bite him in whichever body part he can get his hands on first, which is usually a leg or buttock. A deep wound is frequently the outcome of such an attack. So that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, leave a comment with your thoughts. We will reply to you. And also hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.